subtraction without borrowing. Kids, you've already learned about addition. Now we will learn about another concept that is subtraction. It is going to be fun, I'm telling you. Well, first look at the picture. Study the example. In this picture, there are two tens of beads and three separate beads. Out of these, one tens are cancelled and two separate beads are also cancelled out. It means in the beginning, there were two tens and three units of beads and out of which, one tens and two units of beads are removed. You know what it means? It means we have to subtract one tens and two units. Kids, as we did in addition, here also we will start from units place. 3 units minus 2 units is 1 unit. Now subtract tens from tens. 2 tens minus 1 ten is 1 ten. Which means the answer is 1 tens and 1 unit. That is 11 beads. Now, in order to make the concept of subtraction even more clearer, Let's solve the another example. Look at the picture. First tell me how many tens of beads and units of beads are there? Correct. There are three tens of beads and five units of bead. So we write here three tens and five units. Out of these, two tens of beads and two units of beads are removed. So we'll subtract two tens and two units. If you notice the units place, five units minus two units is three units. Now, in the tens place, three tens minus two tens is equal to one ten. Which means three tens five units minus 2 tenths 2 units is equal to 1 tenth 3 units, that is 13. Now let us see the next example. Here we have 200, 1 ten, 3 unit and out of which we need to cancel 100, 1 ten, 1 unit. First subtract the units from the units. So, 3 units minus 1 unit is 2 units. Now, subtract the tens from the tens. So, 1 ten minus 1 ten is 0 ten. And in the end, subtract the hundreds from the hundreds. So, 200 minus 100 is 100. So, we have 100, 0, 10, 2 units. That is 102 beads.
Ajit has 257 rupees. Use the picture below and work out how much money he had left over after he gave 150 rupees to Manoj. Here is Ajit. He has 257 rupees. Here are two notes of 100 rupees each, which means two hundreds. Five notes of rupees 10 each, which means five tens. And seven coins of one rupee, which means seven units. Out of these, he gave rupees 150 to Manoj, which means one hundred, five tens and zero unit. For subtraction, let us see the units first. Now 7 units minus 0 units would be 7 units. So all these 7 coins remain as it is. Now let us see the notes of 10 rupees. 5 tens minus 5 tens, we are left with 0 tens. So no 10 rupee note is left. Now let us see the hundreds. 200 minus 100 is 100, which means we are left with a 100 note as well. Now let us see how much money has been left over with a G. 100 remains, 0, 10 and 7 units remain, which means 100, 0, 10 and 7 units, that is 107 rupees. So Jeet is left over with 107 rupees. In a cricket match, England scored 245 runs. India scored 123. How many more runs must India make to equal England's score? Well, in order to equal England's score, India must score a total of 245 runs. So, we have to find out how many runs they must score after 123 to make a total of 245. That is, 123 plus box is equal to 245. We must find out the missing number in this. We shall get it by subtracting 123 from 245. So we'll arrange them in vertical order, writing HTU. 245 is 200, 4 tens, 5 units, minus 123. That is 100, 2 tens, 3 units. Now 5 minus 3 is 2. In the tens column, 4 tens minus 2 tens is 2 tens. In the hundreds column, 2 hundreds minus 100 is 100, which means it is 122. Therefore, India must make 122 runs more in order to equal England's score. Well, children, you've understood the concept of subtraction. Let us do some sums now. Subtract 545 minus 2. Now, you know that we'll begin subtraction from the units column. 5 units minus 2 units is 3 units. In the tens column, we have 4 tens. And in the hundreds column, we have 500. So it is 500, 4 tens, 3 units, which means the answer is 543. Now let us see the next sum. 749 minus 438. Now we have to begin from the units column. 9 units minus 8 units is 1 unit. Then in the tens column, 4 tens minus 3 tens is 1 ten. In the hundreds column, 7 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 300. 
So it is 300, 110, 1 unit, which means the answer is 311. Now the next question. 853 minus 202. Now 3 units minus 2 units is 1 unit. 5 tenths minus 0 tenths is 5 tenths. 8 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 600. So the 600 5 tenths 1 unit, which means the answer is 651. Let us see the next sum. 237 minus 114. Subtraction so would begin from the units column. 7 units minus 4 units is 3 units. Now the tens column. 3 tens minus 110 is 2 tens. Hundreds column. 200 minus 100 is 100. Which means... Well, the answer is 100, 2 tens and 3 units, that is 123. Now let us see the next sum. 366 minus 3. Now, subtraction would begin from the units column. 6 units minus 3 units is 3 units. In the tens column, we have 6 tens. In the hundreds column, we have 3 hundreds. Which means the answer is 300, 6 tenths, 3 units, that is 363. Now the next sum, 455 minus 35. Now, let us begin from the units column. 5 units minus 5 units would be 0 unit. In the tens column, 5 tens minus 3 tens is 2 tens. In the hundreds column, we have four hundreds. So it is four hundred, two tens, zero unit, which means the answer is four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and fifty-eight minus forty-four. If you arrange in vertical order, it is four hundreds. 5 tens, 8 units minus 4 tens, 4 units. Let us see the units column. 8 units minus 4 units is 4 units. In the tens column, 5 tens minus 4 tens is 1 ten. Well, in the hundreds column, we have 400. So, it is 400s, 1 tens, 4 units, which means the answer is 414. Now let us see the next sum. 899 minus 523. Here we have 800, 9 tens, 9 units minus 500, 2 tens, 3 units. If you notice the units column, 9 units minus 3 units would be 6 units. In the tens column, 9 tens minus 2 tens is 7 tens. In the hundreds column, 8 hundreds minus 5 hundreds is 3 hundreds. Which means it is 3 hundreds, 7 tens, 6 units. So the answer is 376. Now the last sum, 955 minus 415. If you arrange them in vertical order, it is 900, it's 5 tenths, 5 units, minus 400, it's 1 ten, 5 units. Let us see the units column. 5 units minus 5 units is 0 unit. Tens column. 5 tenths minus 1 ten is 4 tenths. Hundreds column. 9 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 5 hundreds. Which means it is 500, 4 tens and 0 units. So the answer is 540.
arrange vertically and subtract. 654 minus 200. First we'll arrange them vertically writing HTU. Now 654 would be 600, 5 tenths, 4 units, minus 200 is 200, 0 tenths, 0 unit. We need to begin our subtraction from the units column. 4 units minus 0 units is 4 units. In the tens column, 5 tenths minus 0 tenths is 5 tenths. Then in the hundreds column, 6 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 4 hundreds. Which means it is 4 hundreds, 5 tenths, 4 units. So the answer is 4 hundred and fifty four. Now the next sum. 674 minus 242. First we will begin our subtraction by writing HTU. Now 674 is 600, 7 tenths, 4 units, minus 200, 4 tenths, 2 units. If you notice the units column, 4 units minus 2 units is 2 units. In the tenths column, 7 tenths minus 4 tenths is 3 tenths. In the hundreds column, 600 minus 2 hundreds is 4 hundreds. So it is 4 hundreds, 3 tenths, 2 units, which means the answer is 432. Now the next one, 772 minus 341. Let us arrange them in vertical order, writing HDU. Well, once you do that, 772 would be 707 tenths, 2 units, minus 341 would be 304 tenths and 1 unit. If you see the units column, 2 units minus 1 unit is 1 unit. In the tenths column, 7 tenths minus 4 tenths is 3 tenths. In the hundreds column, 7 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 4 hundreds. Which means it is 4 hundreds, 3 tenths, 1 unit. So it is 431. Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. We have 315, 517. Now 517 is bigger. So we'll arrange them in vertical order writing HTU. Now 517 is 500, 110, 7 units. Minus 315 would be 300, 110 and 5 units. In the units column, 7 units minus 5 units is 2 units. In the tens column, 110 minus 110 is 0. In the hundreds column, 500 minus 300 is 200. So it is 200, 0, 10, 2 units, which means it is 202. Now the next set of numbers, 470, 340. Now 470 is bigger, so we'll subtract 340 from 470. For that, we'll arrange them in vertical order, writing HTU. Now 470 would be 400, 7 tenths, 0 units, minus 340, that is 300, 4 tenths, 0 units. In the units column, 0 minus 0 is 0. In the tens column, 7 tens minus 4 tens is 3 tens. In the hundreds column, 4 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 100. So it is 100, 3 tens, 0 unit. That means it is 130. Let us see the next set of numbers that are 300 and 700. 
700 is bigger than 300. So we'll subtract 300 from 700. For that, we'll arrange them vertically. Now 700 is 700, 0, 10, 0 unit minus 300, that is 300, 0, 10, 0 unit. If you see the units column, 0 minus 0 is 0. In the tens column, 0 minus 0 is 0. In the hundreds column, 700 minus 300 is 400, which means the answer is 400. Subtraction in horizontal arrangement. Now here we have 300s, 4 tens, 5 units, minus 200s, 4 tens, 3 units. Arrange this horizontally in this way. And now subtract units from units, tens from tens, hundreds from hundreds. 5 units minus 3 units is 2 units. 4 tens minus 4 tens is 0 ten. 3 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 100. So the answer is 100, 0, 10, 2 units, which means 102. Subtract in horizontal arrangement. I've already explained you the procedure. So now we'll try and solve some examples. 417 minus 305. Well, first we'll see the units. 7 units minus 5 units is 2 units. The tens. 110 minus 0, 10 is 110. In hundreds, 400 minus 300 is 100. So we have 100, 110, 2 units, that is 112. Therefore, 417 minus 305 is equal to 112. Now the next sum. 504 minus 201. First, we'll see the units. 4 units minus 1 unit is 3 units. 0, 10 minus 0, 10 is 0, 10. 500 minus 200 is 300. So it is 300, 0, 10, 3 units, which means 504 minus 201 is equal to 303. Now the next sum, 779 minus 250. If you see the units, 9 units minus 0 units is 9 units. 7 tens minus 5 tens is 2 tens. 7 hundreds minus 200 is 500. Which means we have 5 hundreds, 2 tens, 9 units. That is 529. So 779 minus 250 is 529. Now the last sum, 420 minus 220. If you see the unit, 0 unit minus 0 unit is 0 unit. Let us see the tens. 2 tens minus 2 tens is 0 tens. Now the hundreds, 400 minus 200 is 200. So we have 200, 0, 10, 0 unit, which means it is 200. So 420 minus 220 is 200. Thanks for watching Home Revise. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Subtraction in horizontal arrangement. Now here we have 300s, 4 tens, 5 units, minus 200s, 4 tens, 3 units. Arrange this horizontally in this way.